welcome. Ignore that. It will end. Now, our first question. One plus one. Yes. Two. Incorrect. Yes. Multiculturalism. Well done, Simon. Next question. What is three times three? Yes. Nine. Wrong. Yes, Penelope. Gender equality. Very good, Penelope. This part is pointing fun at the postmodern society that we currently find ourselves in, where feelings are more important than facts. This is seen in this whole gender identity politics debate. In the great words of Dave Chappelle, gender is a fact. No one watching this video came out of their father. You all came out of your mother. Most women, when I say women, I refer to biological women, can't produce sperm cells. Most men can't produce eggs, and that is a fact. But in the society that we currently live in, facts don't matter, and this is brilliantly displayed in the video when the answer to 3 times 3 is gender equality. The fact that this video came out in 2015 makes me appreciate this even more. Is this a joke? Do you think gender equality is a joke? No, but isn't this a maths class? Don't be so racist. I just asked a question. We don't ask questions. Questions are offensive. Yeah! Now students, I trust you've all completed your research assignments. And remember, the person with the highest mark will be flying to New York to present their paper at the World Mathematics Summit. Well done, Penelope. Six out of ten. You too, Simon. Six out of ten. Hey. Be careful. You've been staring at her for 10 seconds. What? It's a form of harassment to stare at a woman for more than 15 seconds straight. And when I use the term straight, I don't mean to offend any persons of a non-traditional sexual preference. And when I use the term non-traditional, I don't mean to offend any persons who oppose historically normalized... Okay, okay, I get it. Unfortunately, Sunshine, your research assignment is only worth a 1 out of 10. I've used Fourier transform and mathematical methods in electronics to analyze the electrodiagrams of at-risk patients and calculate their risk of experiencing a heart attack. I mean, it's a new method, but it could potentially save thousands of lives. Seven. You barely even read it. You used red pen. What? Red is considered offensive in many religions. Why would you belittle everything down to a singular color? Well, humanity is a rainbow of beauty and spirituality. Yeah. Okay, fine. Seven out of ten, but that still means I get to go to the summit, right? The marking process isn't over yet. Now, because we live in a society based on equality, the total amount of marks are to be divided equally among our students. You've got to be kidding me. Well done, students. We're all equal. We're all average. Yay! But then who gets to go to the summit? Oh, we haven't added our privilege points yet. Don't you know anything? That is correct. Now, Penelope, you are female, so that's plus one privilege point. However, you are white, so that's minus one. But I'm also bisexual. Plus one. That leaves you with a total score of 6 out of 10. What's most important in the current woke culture we find ourselves in is how many so-called marginalised communities you are a part of. The more, the better. You might think it's a reach when you hear the teacher say, well, you're white, minus one point. But I promise it's not. The most villainous figure in society is the straight white male. If you're going through something difficult, if you're going through a hard time, hell, if your dog is missing, there's only one person to blame, the straight white male. I was having a conversation with a woman in the DMs. We were speaking about abortion. Out of nowhere, she brings up the straight white males, which was not the topic of the conversation. She just felt the urge to point out how privileged the straight white males in society are. If you guys are enjoying this video, leave a like and subscribe.
I am trying to get to 5,000 subs before the end of the year. Please help me in my fight against the dreaded straight white males, stopping me from reaching my goal by subbing and sharing this video. Together we can bring down the patriarchy. Simon, unfortunately you're straight white and male. And cisgendered. Yes, so that's minus four privilege points, which leaves you with a total score of one. It's only fair. Now you. You're male, and I don't like you. So that's minus two privilege points. But you are brown and sexually ambiguous. So that's plus two. That leaves you with a total score of five. Wait, why am I sexually ambiguous? And finally, Sunshine. Um, I'm gay, I'm trans, I'm Asian. <laughs> I'm overweight, I'm lower class, I'm unintelligent, unattractive. I've got hairs on my nipples, and I also got body odor, and I can't really run properly or tie my shoelaces by myself. And I once watched the pigeon die. Wonderful sunshine. That's 13 privilege points. That leaves you with a total score of 18 out of 10. Well done, sunshine. You're going to New York. Hooray, sunshine! This video really hit the victim mentality on the nail. 18 out of 10. We knew you could do it! Let me see this. <laughs> They've just written equality and drawn love hearts on a piece of paper. He expressed himself and it's beautiful. He didn't even spell equality correctly. We don't discriminate. This has nothing to do with mathematics. Do you think you're so great with your maths and your science and your facts? What about feelings, huh? Yeah. Feelings are more important than facts. Yeah! This is wrong! You're all crazy! <gasps> Stop violating me with your different opinions! I have the right to speak my mind! No, we have the right not to be offended. And that's more important. And if you don't stop verbally assaulting us, we will be forced to attack you in self-defense. Can't do that. Actually, we have every right to do so. And it's illegal for you to fight back. Yeah! This is insane. Prepare to die a noble social justice warrior. Death! <laughs> well, that's the end of the video. What's surprising is that this came out in 2015, yet it's incredibly relevant for today. I guess in 2015, society was in that politically correct bubble. Then we went into that being tolerant phase and now we have a thousand pronouns which is fun this video is only missing a few things such as the pronoun community and more of that racial victimization this video was probably seen as being excessive in the handling of these topics because it came out in 2015 but now comparing this video to what's currently going on in 2021 this looks tame compared to 2021 if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe comment share uh, check out my other stuff and I hope you have a good day.